I'm Chuck Ullery, and I'm the principal bassoon player of the St. Paul Chamber Orchestra, which I've been doing for the last 35 years. People ask me a lot if they're starting on the bassoon, when do I start making reeds? Because right from the get-go, they realize how fickle reeds are, and they change from day to day, especially here in Minnesota, when it's so dry in the winter. It's really important to know at least how to adjust your own reeds, and that's the thing that most kids learn is, is how, at first, they, you get a pair of pliers, you get a little plaque to put inside the reed, and a knife, uh, or a file, and you learn how to trim the reed. And you'll be a much happier person when you have a little more control. It's best to have a mentor, best to have to be studying bassoon. Of all instruments, of all the woodwind instruments, bassoon is one of the hardest ones to learn on your own. You really need guidance. I mean, there are lots of uh, exotic fingerings you have to learn that aren't necessarily in books that will help you a lot. And But I think the primary thing is getting your instrument in shape, and, and a teacher will be able to point that out to you and tell you when you need to go have it worked on or things you can fix yourself. It's like changing your own oil, sometimes fixing your bassoon. And, but, the, but the reeds are the big thing for everybody. And to have an idea about how the reed should sound, you know, this thing that you put in your mouth and it's buzzing, it's hard to tell, you know, what you should be expecting of this. And a teacher will help you build those expectations and learn how to meet those expectations with how you work on your reads. <laughs>